want to change our focus right now. Look at Montgomery County Public Schools. It's the largest jurisdiction in the state of Maryland. School Superintendent Monifa McKnight is vowing to keep her job after the Board of Education asked her to step down. The county's inspector general issued a report finding failures in the school district's handling of complaints of sexual harassment. Now, the report comes after former principal Joe Bidelman was promoted despite multiple complaints of harassment and bullying. Joining us live this morning in studio, Evan Glass, a Montgomery County council member at large. Uh, council member, good to have you with us today. You issued, along with Dylan Loki, a scathing comment, issue about what's going on in schools right now. You mentioned the inspector general, you thanked her, you mentioned the MCPS, you mentioned the principal in this, Joel Buttleman. You didn't mention Dr. Monifa McKnight. Why is that and does she need to be removed from that job? Uh, well, thank you for having this conversation, Tom. Uh, Montgomery County Public Schools are the reason so many people have moved to Montgomery County. We are the 15th largest school district in the mm -hmm. nation and have some of the best schools in the area. And, and we, we know all that. Yeah, we do. But, but does she need to be removed from that job? So that is a decision for the school board to decide. When I learned, as so many of us did back in August, through a Washington Post report that we had a principal who was uh, sexually harassing staff members. Mm -hmm. uh, I immediately called for an inspector general report. We need to know the truth. We need to find out who knew what and when. We've now had three inspector general reports and an independent report by the school board. The school board has all the information that they need to move forward. And the residents of the Montgomery County, whether you are a teacher, a parent, or a taxpayer, we want to make sure that we get back to the business of teaching our kids. Why can't elected representatives in the county come out and say whether or not the superintendent stays or goes? We, we, we've gotten a lot of these comments saying we're concerned. We don't like what we read. The inspector general's report was bad. But nobody seems to be saying what we're hearing from parents all over the county, which is we need a change. What I'm hearing from everyone in Montgomery County is that we need accountability and that is solely in the hands of our school board. Our school board are duly elected members of the community. The same people who elect me elect the school board and their job is twofold. One, select the superintendent and two, manage our $3.2 billion budget. So we need to make sure that they have the information and I believe they do have the information to make the decision to put our schools back on course. The same school board that is now asking for Monifa McKnight to leave is the same school board that hired her. So are, do you have confidence as a countywide elected leader that the school board is in place are the ones to be making this decision right now? We're going to be having an oversight hearing in two weeks' time. And we already had one last fall. And I'm a former journalist. I know how to ask tough questions. I've been demanding oversight and accountability. I'm going to continue doing that at our public hearing in two weeks. And that will be left for the voters to decide whether or not their duly elected school board are doing right for our students and our teachers. As you look at this, you read the Inspector General report, as many of us have. What was the most disturbing part of that for you? Uh, the most disturbing part of the Inspector General report is that uh, there had been numerous instances of the school district being told about these problems, about HR problems, not taking action. But the real information is in a heavily redacted report that the school district and the school board commissioned. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. that has all the information about who knew what and when. If we want true oversight, true accountability, uh, I would urge the school board to release that unredacted report so that we all know what happened. Uh, Montgomery County Education Association, the teachers union of the county, issued their own statement saying that they were aware that confidential information caused them to determine the drastic step of removing the superintendent is necessary. There has been reporting that the superintendent may have known about all this before she claimed in some hearings that she didn't know about it. So is that a line of the sand for you if it is determined that the superintendent had prior knowledge of this but yet told county officials that she didn't? Is that too far? There are three inspector general reports. There's another independent report that the school board commissioned. Mm -hmm. uh, all the facts are there. They have not all been brought to light because some of it's been heavily redacted. Mm -hmm. If we find out that people covered up and protected a principal who was sexually harassing 
his colleagues. That is a problem for me. When you talk to parents, what do they want done? What are they telling you they want? Uh, both parents and taxpayers want to make sure that our kids can learn safely in the classroom, that our teachers have the ability to operate safely, and that we get back to the business of teaching. We only have 15 seconds. Does the Montgomery County Council have the power it needs to enact this kind of change over the Board of Education? We're going to have another oversight hearing in two weeks, and I'll make sure to demand accountability. Evan Glass, council member from Montgomery County, uh, we appreciate you coming in. Always Thank you, a pleasure. Tom. We'd like to have you back real soon.